If you know you are 
will receive total freedom. I want you to celebrate Jesus. If you know you are ready for total freedom, I want you to celebrate Jesus. If you know and you believe this is your season of total freedom, celebrate Jesus. Give him a shout, give him a clap, give him a jump, give him anything you want to give to him this morning.
foundation that will not let you reach your goal by the foundation of Calvary let them be destroyed every battle competing with your age every battle competing with your months by the blood of the Lamb let them be terminated Holy Spirit, have your way. I submit this meeting to you. Glorify the name of Jesus and give us total freedom. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I want the church to say resounding amen. I think your amen can be better, brethren. And your amen can still be loud. Before you sit down, please just give me one minute to pray a prayer that struck me. Uh, I, I came in here, I, protocol observe once again. If you are coming for the first time, I mean, if you were in the first service and second service, you were here. 
God bless you for staying. Thank God for my daddy that invited me here. When pastor was speaking, he said, colleague, I said, oh, God help me. How can me be colleague when I'm only a son? When we qualify as accountant those days, when we qualify, they will say, ah, we are not colleagues. Uh, Akintola Williams and you, you know who is an accountant, who is an accountant. Your number is like a, a, a GSM number. <laughs> Praise God. I see some people here, something strange followed you. But by the word of God and by the man to lift it here, they will never follow you again. By fire, let there be a separation. When Lazarus came forth, he was wearing the garment of the grave. You are addressed the way you are dressed. Many years ago, sir, I say this wherever I go. This is the fourth time I'm coming here. I can say it. I was schooling in University of Calabar. I handed it over to the, a young man to become the Christian Union you know, president. I, then I got my final year. He was walking in the street of Calabar. I think it was IBB Way or Michelesso Way on the road. Listen carefully, sir. And a madman looked at him and said, You want to marry? And go to Bible college, and he did not tell us, Abi, you will see. He is from Ohafia. We are in Akwai Bomb and in, in Rivers, Cross River States. A madman could tell what he was planning to do. My friend was planning to get married in his final year once he finishes and go and do his marriage abroad and go and become a full pastor. How did the madman know that? This man was going. A familiar spirit follow him said it. Can I pray for someone here? Whatever is following you, monitoring your life against your home, let them be scattered. With a loud voice and father. Again, father. Every evil power. Monitoring my life. By fire, be separated. Open your mouth and pray. City of life, pray. Ayaga ba 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 ya. Shaka ba rogo bosende. Open your mouth and pray. Don't be tired. Pray, pray, pray. Shanda ba rogo sete. Ega ba rande besia. In Jesus' name, there is a separation. Okay. You will say, sir, <laughs> eh, that's the one you you know. Were you there with him? Okay. I'll tell you the second one. By the grace of God, thank God for my wife that came. God bless you. I celebrate God in your life. Amen. You see her like this now, just like teenager. <clears throat> she has dropped three. Oh, and we have... Have announced the results. Two goes to one, and you can tell who is the winner already. Your pastor has to always be winning. Yeah. <laughs> By God's grace, November this coming November will be our 15 years. Hallelujah! I used prayer to trap her as she was in school. I said, Pastor, I'll not be waiting. No, 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 no. Before you finish, we'll do this marriage. So you see that we married early. I pray for you, sir. Anything delay your marriage. You are still gathering. See, you are still gathering, gathering. The power of delay will be terminated now. Now listen, sir. Listen, I have to share that part. Do you know, sir? Mommy, the plan of marriage was complete. I was working in Texas then. And I was working on my office. My phone rang. Rang. Who is calling? Says your parents. I said, What? See, there's a woman here, a lady here. She said that she's getting married to you. Huh? I don't know. He said, From where? From Ibadan. Ah. I schooled in Federal Government College, Worry. From there to University of Calabar. Where did I go to Ibadan? I don't know anyone from there. And she carried her bag. And said I've come to my in-laws house so uh, I know I'll be writing him letters while getting married. 
my brethren forget anointing or no anointing i began to shake how did they know i want to get married now how did she trace the house from where I, by the mercy of God, I married my wife as still a pure vegetable. Not I was carrying women up and down. I ran to God, and God says, "Son, there is a record that the enemy keeps, and they be monitoring your day." They told her, "Go." He said, "Okay, I'm going. I will come back and bring my things to my in-laws' house." Where is where is the person now? He said, "Listen, worry, he's here now. I will, I've left for how many years to Lagos? She was looking for me there." They could not find me in the name of both our names. The heart of the wicked will never locate your life. If you have a handkerchief, raise it. If you don't have, raise your hand. Then, before I close, if you don't get no problem, Pastor is still here, you will always bless it. I pray for every handkerchief now lifted. Barush kete barande kesia. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? By fire, arise and give us freedom. From every familiar spirit. From your father's house. From your mother's house. They live your life alone. Wave your mantle. Because they are witchcrafts. And they are God crafts. When a god craft is flying, every witchcraft goes down. Have you not seen a boat on the sea? And you see a ship passing. The boat will be shaking like this. After this mantle service, as you walk out of this place, men will call you blessed. Your house will be a no-fly zone again. Total freedom. Quickly, I will be praying more in this service because of our time. John 11, verse 44. The conclusion part of this sermon. In the first service, it was our hand. The second service, our feet. And the final service, our face and the garments. When blind, when blind Bartimaeus, in Mark 10, 46-52, Go to a point of miracle. He shouted, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And the Bible said that they said, Keep quiet. Brethren, whoever wants to silence your mouth, go be silence them. All of a sudden, immediately he sent for him. He removed his garments, preparing to receive something new and fresh. So I want to just mention one or two things in that dimension. Then go into the mantle service and I will pray before we go. When Lazarus came out of the grave in verse 44 of John he came bound with hands, his feet and he was wearing a wrong cloth. Brethren, do you know that your garments can speak about your glory and about your life? So very quickly, let me mention one or two things. One, there is a beggarly garment. Mark 10 verse 50. Mark 10 verse 50. When you wear that garment, nothing good gets to you. I was in Delta State some time ago and I was to pray for a particular lady. And while we were praying, all of a sudden, the woman said, please don't pray in my house. I said, why? He said, you won't pray here. My husband will not. I said, sir, your husband said we should come. He said, you won't pray here. We left. A few days later, I'm not sure there's that time. He sent for me. Come and pray. What happened? He was screaming. What are you screaming? He said, ah, fire. She was a serious member of the church. He began confessing witchcraft. I killed my first child. This second one, I wanted to kill him. He said he was too strong. Uh -huh. Even my husband, he was in another company. I could not stop his job. Now, will you repent? She said, God forbid. I must continue this work. And she was dying. And she opened her mouth and made a statement. I know if you are a child of God, it cannot affect you. Because the Bible says, Isaiah 54, verse 17, No weapon 
fashioned against me shall prosper and every tongue that rises up against me in judgment I shall condemn he said sir I had a party then what did you do he said I gave them gifts then yes I gave them plates and every when I was giving that plate I made incantation on it that as they collect my plate they become beggars let there be ragusha any gift you have collected that has truncated your life, let them cast fire. Wave your mantle and say fire. One more time, say fire. Be seated. You will never be a beggar. You will not beg your enemies. God forbid. Our topic is total freedom. So total means complete. The next thing I will mention that total means without restriction. But you know your garments can restrict you. For example, we have filthy garments. Zechariah 3 verse 3. Zechariah was wearing a garment that was filthy. And it was becoming a hindrance in his life. If you are here, my brother, and you are still living a life of sin, you better run quickly from that sin because sin will destroy you. But the blood of Jesus is able to cleanse us from every unrighteousness. So I pray one more time for you. The mercy of God will save you. The blood of Jesus will wash you from every sin. I love the hymn we sang. Conquerors and overcomers, now are we. Through the blood. Through the blood of Jesus. Take one more and then I conclude in the dimension of where we are ending. There is garments of honor. Garments of honor and glory. Esther 6, 8 to 11. Esther 6, 8 to 11. We saw Mordecai that the king wanted to honor a kaparande keshi kaparus kete baya balunde gesante mekete rabashkuria by the hand of the lord you will wear a garment of honor that is said he wants to reverse powers i tell you a short story my time is really running i was in school secondary school in those days we used to have we still have that now Junior secondary and senior secondary, right? I was a day student. So I, you can see the way I am now. I don't know whether this suit is helping or not helping. But very soon, God will provide. And I'll begin to compete with my brother, Isikali. He didn't say amen for me, sir. Uh -huh. Whether you say amen or not, tell my wife, you do something, Pastor Ephraim, to help the ministry. And she's trying very well. All right, let's get serious. Now, I wore shorts and I was going on after school. And normally, because I'm an SS student, I should wear trousers. But because I, I, I'm not taking my trousers, I wore shorts. So I entered school after school, going. All of a sudden, I saw some junior students. He just someone said, "Hey, young junior boy, come here." Eh? Ah? More bodies, no sickness. So, what is this? They ordered me. Why? I was wearing shorts. I began to follow them. Come, come and follow, junior boy. I was going. I just entered SS1. Then you know he's shocking you, senior boy. Trouser. I said, these boys, I will deal with you. They followed me. I kept going. They won't say, it's like, it's not our junior. It's like a senior boy. You say, it's a lie. He said, say, yes, yeah, we are need to go back. He said, okay, you can go. I said, what? I said, you can go. I said, no, now it's your turn to follow me. <laughs> born again or not born again? Forget to. The Delta block that is coming up. Should I go to Niger Delta? Follow me. He said, No, I said, No. You said, um, You've now followed me. They, they now realize they called the wrong person. There is someone here. Anything or three, you are run. Power has changed hands. Power has changed hands. Somebody said, Fire. Be seated. Now let me go to the final close of my message. It therefore means for Jesus 
to be able to bring blind, sorry, Lazarus out of the grave and release him completely, certain things happened. Let me mention them now. Number one, Jesus issued a command. Only those in command can become commanders. Only those in authority becomes a voice. Sir, when God makes you a voice, you never lack an audience. When God makes your business a voice, they never lack customers. I pray for someone, you will be a voice. When they are looking for men, they will single you out. This summer 10 verse 1. This summer 10 verse 1. The Bible says, God said to Saul, I have put oil on your head and I have also made you to be what? In command over Israel. When it's time to decree and you hold the mantle by the fire from heaven, every of your decree will become a law. Number one, total freedom comes by command. Everyone say command. Number two, Jesus not only commanded, he used a loud voice and made a pronouncement. So number two, total freedom comes from the word of God. Psalm 107 verse 20, he sent his word. His word healed them and deliver them from their destruction i am sending that same word to you wherever you are tired be loose in the name of jesus, jesus. three total freedom comes from the altar of prayer jesus prayed and made the statement ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. i hear god now jesus said I know you hear me. Boss. However, that these people may believe that you have sent me, please show up in my matter. Sir, I know you are born again, but the world will not testify until they see signs. The world will not celebrate your God until they see wonders. That testimony that we end your insult, receive it now. When I came to Lagos, I was living with my sister in one room, somewhere in Maryland, trusting God for a miracle. And all of a sudden, I went to Delta State for a program, and I saw my stepmom. You know, this Delta boy, you can marry my son. Two, three. The more you marry, the more you are becoming a chief. Thank God that God says, me one and one alone. If I can't even try, one and one with this baby, I will see. <laughs> uh, blood of Jesus. Uh, well, thank God for mercy. Now, as I entered, when the first mommy, I looked very good. Physically, I was dry. And my stepmom said, hey, Jiro, I said, yes. He said, Lagos is not good in your body. Come back home and stay in Delta. Hey! Any voice calling you to go back in life? Anything saying go backward? I silence the voice. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I said, no. No. I will not go back. I have gone forward. I will never go back. I left. Sir, until God answers his name in your life, the world cannot celebrate your glory. So when you are praying, you tell God, answer your name in my life. You say you are a healer, heal me. You say you can provide, provide for me. Because we are hearing that God can. They want to see it in your life. 
I left and came back and the Lord turned it around all of a sudden I got a job and they said sir we want to buy you a brand new car it was 2008 Corolla just came out brand new we will buy you a brand new Corolla for your new position and it is um, automatic hear me oh. I said automatic no 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 I want manual I said my friend and I dropped the phone my friend said because, because man if you should stop you can push it you can push it I was too used to failure I could not understand the call of success many of us are getting too used to our suffering that you cannot understand God lifting you by the mantle in your hand wave that mantle God is changing your level wave the mantle a change of level a change of level a change of level a change of level in the name of Jesus please be seated let's, let's conclude this thing and then I realized I made a mistake I called please 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 sir I'm sorry I want a brand new Corolla now say hey, yes I said look at you they gave me and I entered inside it's time to showcase the glory of God. I went for a meeting now in the same Delta state. I saw the same woman that said, Lagos is not good in my body. F don't forget, I was still a work in progress. And I'm still a work in progress now. I drove and I hung. Bam, bam. And she saw me. She turned and faced the other side and kept moving. I said, Mama, I'm greeting you. Hey, I see you. I see you. You will laugh at your enemies, sir. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. She back. And I said, Hey, Jiro. I said, Yes, we go wash the cow. I said, Mama, Lagos is not good in my body. I reminded her of what she said. I declare today now, by the mantle in your hand, everywhere you have not been able to reach, you will surpass in Jesus' name. Please be seated. Oh, we're going to pray. Now, sir, it was by the word. Next thing Jesus did, Jesus prayed. So another key for freedom is prayer. Luke 18 verse 1. Men ought always to pray and not to faint. My brother, my sister, please pray. Don't be tired of prayer. Result. I've been praying since. I remember I was in a minister's conference for prayer warriors. One of our daddy in the Lord that comes to come shared with us. I have not recovered from that testimony. Every time I think about it, it's power in prayer. I share briefly with you and then three more points and I will stop here. Sir, yes, on blue. Yes, sir, please come. In Nama Kande, Ribushkuri, Baba, yeah. It's a family here, yeah? your wife with you. Yeah? Where? Ah, please come. In the Bareme Sente, Leke Bushku, Baba, Ladra, Bazende, yeah. Are you ready for a change of level? What you have seen is, is just child's play. After the mantle comes now, it will be like comparing candlelight and sunlight. There is a lifting coming. But remember, it is only because of God. Thank you, Father. Open your two hands. Join it together. together. No, join together. Open them. Yes, join it. Good. God bless you. I join my faith with you. A three-foot cone cannot be easily broken. That which God wants to deliver into your hands. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. By this mantle, your level has changed. Go and manifest the goodness of God. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Father. All right. Now listen. This lady was trusting God for a miracle. Daddy, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The fire of God is very strong here. 
and God wants to visit families. He cried to God as a father. Do something in my life. Now, boss, financially she was down. There was no money, no money in her pocket, and she was living abroad. You don't beg money abroad, do? Say, ah, mommy, ah, mommy, mommy, rooms. Eh, is it eh, but he got enough dollars. You don't do like that, though. Every man for himself, God for us all. So if you want to relocate to UK to be okay, you better think very well, though. And God said, why are you crying to me? Go and buy what you want. He left her prayer room and children were looking for what to eat and take care of themselves. She went to the shopping mall. And in that shopping mall, she wanted to buy what she wanted without any time. And by the time she got to the mall, she took her basket and filled everything. Fill it and roll it. And the voice of God came again. My daughter, buy another one. I don't have credit card. I don't have money. Go and pick another one. God will speak to you. She picked the second one. A voice came again. My daughter, go and pick the third one. I mean truly. Remember, sister, there is no dime. There is no money, no credit card. She loaded the third one. She said, that is okay. Because I'm not okay. Oh, total freedom. Not partial freedom. She loaded the fifth one. Loaded the seventh one. And God said, now you are okay. Seven is complete. How will she pay? Total freedom, sir. Then she moved it one by one. At this time, the whole mall. If you go to those malls abroad, I went to Walmart. And I was looking and I said, God, is this a... I did God. God, we help Nigeria. Uh, let's end there. Let's end. God, we help us. Sir, she got to the counter too and pushed it. The lady looked at her, please, ma'am, please, I'm on break. Move, move, move. And God said, did I send you to counter two? Move all the seven trolleys to counter seven. She began to move it, move it, move it. Seven trolley, counter seven. And she stood there. No money to pay. No money to pay. No money to pay. No money to pay. Then they began to, at the pressing it, she was seeing the amount. Going up, more, <laughs> more. Forget anointing, no money, no man. Why she was still there? Let somebody say suddenly. The God of total freedom showed up. Someone said suddenly. There was quietness. An announcement came on the media of the supermarket. Ladies and gentlemen, we are marking our anniversary of this month today. Anyone buying anything in counter seven now, everything free of charge. Everything free of charge. Let someone shout hallelujah at the right place at the right time. Your leg will carry you there. Oh, my leg carry me, they go. Aya, oh, my leg. Carry me they go anywhere better day. Carry me they go. Oh yeah, let's go, sir. Anywhere better day. Carry me they go. Oh my God. Carry me they go. Oh my God. Carry me they go. Anywhere better day. Carry me they go. Anywhere better day. Raise your hands up. I say, Oh my God. Carry me they go. Carry me they go. I know you know the story, sir. Remember in Edo State, Edo State, that our state, you know, Edo State, when one woman was selling by the wayside and selling a market, and Baba Osho came and scattered markets, and woman was crying, I'm a widow. He said, Go and die. People picked it. PDP, SDP, ZZZ. Z, Z. You are a bad governor. The man said, Hey, you know, look what we do. They packaged the woman that could not afford to do anything, carried her from that slum 
to government house, sat with governor, drank tea with governor, said so down very well. She was at the right place at the right time. By the mantle in your hand, from today you got the address. At the right time, in the name of Jesus. Please be seated. Let's conclude. Let's conclude. Right, right. I want to mention last two keys, and I will stop because of my time. Next key is the key of faith. What we are doing here now, you may look like it's what are they doing? No, it's by faith. Now, faith does not wait to see. Faith speaks to see. Faith does not wait to see. He speaks to see. Hebrews 11 verse 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Anywhere I go, sir, I use example to explain faith. And it has made my whole life turn around for good. And it's the simplest way to understand faith. Some years ago, I was my wife. We are going to Ghana. My wife naturally does not like flying. Me, God has helped me to some extent. And we had two children inside the plane. Then we entered the turbulence. For gets anointing or not. If that thing is shaking, you come back there. It began going up. Boom, boom, boom. I said, Jesus. Because I'm the man, I cannot show I'm afraid. How do you strong eye? My wife already. Hmm. Hmm. But you know, it got to a point. That mountain left me. I said, Ah, I don't intervene. No. Ah, I don't want to die. <laughs> oh God. Then I saw my two children. Two of them in the plane. They were laughing. Daddy. As if they were laughing. They were singing a song in Bani. We are flying on the airplane, looking at the window, watching the bed go by. Flying on the airplane, looking at the window, up so very high. It's going on, we laugh. Eh? When he goes up, they will say, Yeah, bad is hot. This is we are playing with life and death. They are busy laughing at it's going up. So there it is the fun of Bunny. It's not Bunny. Oh. <laughs> you are laughing at me. You would have done worse. And God says, son, I said, Daddy, hmm. Look at your children. I saw them. They were still enjoying that. It's going up. Oh, it's nice. And God said, You know what like I said? No. As, as long as your children see you with them in a the plane, they are relaxed. Dad is here. Mom is here. Why are we afraid? Why can't you know I am also with you? I rest like that. For someone here, God will carry you. When your father is with you, you have nothing to fear. Please be seated. So, freedom comes by faith. When I'm going to pray for you now, stretch your feet. Stretch what? Stretch what? Stretch what? I think the last one I will stop there. Time is up. I don't want even to give me a yellow card. From here, it can become red. One gets red now. Problem don't start you. Now, sir, my wife is saying you can ask her. I'm going to preach somewhere. I'm talking about freedom, agents of freedom, faith. We finished. I said to them, There's someone here. You came from witchcraft coven. Seven days you go. The pastor of the church said, Ah, Pastor, this early morning prayer for women. How would you talk like that here? When I said, Ah, they came, he said, Ah, Pastor, I left. Day one. Day two, day before the fourth day, my phone rang. Hey, Pastor, what you are confessing? You know? I say, it is no problem. Don't worry. A few days later, I'm about to eat my food, mommy, in the house with my wife. And my phone rang. My mommy daughter called me. I say, what? He said, Jiro. I say, yes. He said, hey, hey. They said, now one of the witches has confessed that eh, you, your wife will not deliver the child. It will take for 12 months and she will not die. I said, they said, so he said, yes. I said, don't worry, go. I got back to my room. I sat down. I continued my food. 
devil cannot make me fast he can't give me a prayer point i am too loaded to be low i am too blessed to be stressed yes someone here the, the devil will not intimidate you again now i finished and day of delivery came we got to the hospital they searched uh, they said uh it's show he started coming but two more more i said god forbid went to what they said telling us different time and I remember what the enemy said. I say, ah, if the devil can do it, I will never preach again. Went back home, went to church, and we finished praying. I went back to the hospital at Baja. My mother-in-law was praying. Hey, Jesus, what? It's delivery room now. We need to pray. I got there about to pray. I will lie with the altar. And God said, don't pray. It is done. I said, Mama, no need for prayer. That's deliver. Let's go. He said, eh? My only daughter is there. He said, you can go. You, you can go. I will stay here. I said, why are you wasting prayer? He said, you can. I said, okay, no problem. I'm going downstairs to go and buy chicken barbecue and eat. You are eating and your wife is in the delivery room. Is that not madness? No. Faith in God may look stupid, but it brings results. I got down, bought barbecue, bought my child, Two of them were just eating, eating, eating. Few minutes later, ah, she ran. She had delivered. I, uh, I told you before, come and join and eat now. We'll soon finish eating it. What am I saying? Freedom comes from faith in the spoken word. All this fear, fear you have because you don't know the God you serve. Rise to your feet. Are you ready for declaration now? I'm going to declare over your life. And I know the Almighty God Himself will answer in the mighty name of Jesus. I didn't hear your amen, sir. Your amen can be better. Your amen, help me. Help me, thank you. Please, you help me to carry those things. It's good. I don't have time left, but listen, look up. God speaks to me. I didn't plan to use this handkerchief. He says, Son, before you leave here, do it. And I'll do it quickly and I'll, I'll step out of the way. Look up. Lift up the handkerchief before God. If you don't have, you raise your hand. When you get to me, you can buy and the anointing will be transferred there. I was not there, but my mother told me when I was to be born. He said when I was in the delivery room, my when they were, she was walking on the road, a man stopped her and said, Why are you always giving birth to me? They've tied the child in your womb. He said, okay. His prayer. On the day of delivery, the nurses were speaking to her. And they were saying, ah, what kind of child is this? They tied this child with a rope. How did the rope enter my mother's womb to tie me physically? Physical rope. So battle began from birth. The one they tied in the womb is the one standing loose today, releasing men. Now I have come with that same grace. Wherever you have been tied, receive your freedom. In the name of Jesus. I have three decrees to decree, and every one of them will manifest. Raise your mantle. First decree. Man de kashata. A cloth cover the face of. Lazarus. Isaiah 25 verse 7. The veil cast over nations upon this mountain shall be destroyed. Wave that mantle now. Every veil covering your glory, let the veil crash fire. Somebody say fire. One more time fire. Number two decree. Lazarus came out and Jesus said, Lose him and let him go. The same people that put him there had to lose him. Wave your mantle. Now I decree, wherever they tied you, your glory, your blessing, your star, or your life, oh, yeah, be loose now by fire. Lose them in the name of Jesus. Lose them in the name of Jesus.
Lastly, brethren, I need to stop. My time is up. Some other time will continue. Raise your mantle, please. I beg you. Everywhere you are, raise it. I will count to seven. There are at least three people here. A load that be resting on your head. As you shout fire, the load will be lifted. I say, what do you say? Fire. One. Holy Ghost. 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 Let her go. Lastly, every man in life has a place. And total freedom says, rest in your place of glory. Put the mantle on your head. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Lazarus came out of the grave because that is no way it ought to be. Where they used to find you? Among the poor, among the wretched, among the barren, among the singles, among the weakling. They will not find you there again. Put the mantle on your head. Be quiet. Quiet. Holy Spirit, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, you spirit of the grave. You separated powers. Powers from the water. Lose them in the mighty name of Jesus. So here, this week, you will get that contrast you have been waiting for. Among the minister, there is someone trusting God for something very major. You'll be crying, when, when? Today is that day. Your, your mantle on your head. Please sit on your seats now. Just sit down there. Your seat in life. In your husband's house. In ministry. In your place of work. That you have not been able to occupy. All these years you have been waiting. Occupy that seat by fire. With a mantle on your head. Thank you, Jesus. Please don't stop here because my time is up. The man on your head, that mantle. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It is done. It is done. Rise to your feet, lift up the mantle, begin to wave it. Begin to wave it. Wave it as a sign of victory. Wave it as a sign of victory. Wave as a sign of victory. Go ahead, go ahead.